Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel. <clears throat> I'm in the garage tonight. Today is Friday, November 5th, 2010. And it's about <clears throat> 20 minutes after 8. I apologize for uh, my cold. <clears throat> but uh, I have a 5 inch diameter by 24 inch tall P clear PVC column. I have been running my electrolyzer cell into the bottom of this column for approximately, uh, let's see, since, uh, since about 4.30 today. <laughs> eh, maybe 5 o'clock. Since, uh, since about 5 o'clock today, I've been running my HHO generator into the bottom of that. That's over three hours. <clears throat> In the bottom, there are two baffles. <clears throat> the uh, the first baffle is a square piece of cardboard with corners folded down that <clears throat> allows gas only to pass up along the side walls, and then the, it encounters the second baffle, which is like a donut hole that forces the gas to then direct inward and then up through the center hole. The purpose for this is to mitigate any turbulence inside inside the the collection column so that we get a nice smooth flow of uh, <clears throat> gaseous mixture coming out of the HHO cell rising up through the column which will give opportunity for the hydrogen <clears throat> to dissipate and for the uh, oxygen to float on top of any heavier gases that may be produced and uh, be displaced out the top once enough of the heavier gases collect inside inside the column. <clears throat> At the top of the column is a piece of paper towel that's folded twice <clears throat> that just sits atop the column loosely so that the hydrogen can dissipate and so that any other gases can be displaced out the top of the of the collection column. <clears throat> As I said I've been running this test for well over three hours now. Uh, I've also been running it without a bubbler to prevent any of the uh, linear H2O from being condensed into the solution of the bubbler before it gets to my collection chamber. So <clears throat> if it's there, if it's produced here, it will wind up here. <clears throat> and if it is heavier than air, it will spill into my cup, and my cup shall runneth over with linear H2O. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> what I have here is a ball valve at the, at the bottom. It is a very low restriction ball valve. If there is a gas in here that's heavier than air, it should flow out quite easily. And, uh, what I plan to do, <coughs> I'm going to take another little piece of paper towel and just set it on top of my cup like this to prevent any air turbulence <coughs> around the bench that I may create just by my movements from disturbing the pool of, of gas that supposedly is going to flow into this cup. Tube is attached. <coughs> And this is it. This is the moment of truth. I'm just going to slide the uh, paper towel back a little bit at the top and open up the petcock valve, the ball valve here. And if the theory is true, <coughs> I should be uh, dispensing a combustible gas into the cup. I certainly gave it enough time to collect in the uh, chamber, in the separation column. Okay. I'm going to shut off now the flow of the mystery gas into the cup. Remove the pipe so that there's no chance of a backflash. And very slowly move it into view, better view of the camera. Like that. Oh, earplugs. Yeah. <coughs> Give me a second to put these in. 
All right, here we go, folks. This is it. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, I'm so surprised. I am so surprised. My goodness. Don't hate me for this, okay? Now I'm going to show you how everybody, how they fooled everybody <coughs> into thinking that something like this really does exist. Alright? <coughs> First I'm going to do it, then I'm going to show you the explosion, and then I'll tell you how I did it. Okay? And I'm going to go through all of the same steps that I just went through just now, and I'm actually going to dispense a gas into the cup. <coughs> Just know that this time, I am pulling your leg. Alright? <clears throat> so, three, two, one. Hello everybody, Zero Fossil Fuel. We're here tonight. <clears throat> I've been uh, running my experiment for the <clears throat> linear water generator that uh, <clears throat> everybody's buzzing about. And uh, I decided <clears throat> that I would try to replicate the experiment. So, for several hours, I have been dispensing gas from my hydrogen electrolyzer into the base of my collection tube, collection column, for approximately three hours. And uh, I have a baffle, two baffles, to uh, calm any turbulence generated by the in inrush of the gas at the bottom port so that the gas can rise nice and evenly through the through the tube and allow any of the heavier than air IHHOI or HHOI or whatever you want to call it <coughs> to rise and settle in the, in the collection column. <coughs> the uh, test will be then to later dispense some of this heavier than air gas into a cup and ignite it and make it go pop. Right now I'm going to shut the valve off to my collection chamber and remove the tube from my hydrogen electrolyzer. Pop the cork so I don't build up any pressure in there. Reattach my tube like so. And I'm just going to take a paper towel and set it on top of the cup like that. Keep any uh, air, air turbulence out of the cup. <laughs> All right, so the mystery gas is flowing. <clears throat> so uh, if there is a heavier than air gas, it should be in the cup, or at least some of it. <clears throat> and now I will close the valve, extract the tube, put it in view of the camera, and are you ready? Here we go. Hmm. Guess I'm not as smart as I thought. <coughs> well, <coughs> let me tell you what I <laughs> let me tell you what I was trying to do. And it might have worked if I had uh <coughs> if I had allowed the valve to stay open long enough. There is a commonly available heavier than air gas, <clears throat> based on my research of uh, mo molecular weights on my way to dinner tonight, <clears throat> that you could easily <coughs> put in the column and dispense into a cup and make it go pop. And it's called isobutane. It's about twice as heavy as air. <clears throat> it's even heavier than carbon dioxide. And if you shoot a little into a cup, I'm sure it will go pop. Like that. Which uh, <clears throat> is pretty much equivalent to what I saw in the video presentation that was uh, given to prove the existence of Linear water.
yeah that's how I think it was done and uh, right now Mr. Sterling Allen I am quite prepared to classify this as a busted myth but as I has <coughs> as I have also openly stated if somebody else cares to step forward <coughs> and describe to me their method that they use to manufacture HHOI or linear H2O please pass that information along I'd be more than happy to kick it up a notch and conduct the experiment and film it for YouTube and Justin my Justin TV audience <coughs> So, if you've got something that you need to tell the world, tell me. Let me show the world. Okay? And that's it. Everybody take care. Oh, peace.